Welcome to another top pick based on originality, condition, and price. Today's feature car is a 1985 Studebaker Avante Coupe. You're going to like the car and you're going to like the backstory as well. I'm Rob Lofaris. You're watching the Daily Classics and Drivers channel. Let's check this car out. I found this car on Facebook Marketplace this morning. It's based in Maryland. It's a 1985 Studebaker Avante Coupe. The seller is looking to get $20,500. Uh, it's got 145,000 miles. We'll discuss that in a little while. Uh, also interesting to note is that the seller has a very good reputation on Facebook Marketplace, which is a good thing to see every now and then. What I want to do is give you a little backstory on the Avante Corporation. It was originally built by Studebaker back from 1962 to 1964 as a halo car, and they produced less than around 6,000 units at the time. In 66, Studebaker went out of business, and the Avante name was purchased from an independent entrepreneurs, I believe they were dealers, who created something called the Avante II, utilizing the original Studebaker design, and they played around with the chassis, and eventually they moved it over to the Monte Carlo chassis at the time the company was sold to a real estate developer named Stephen Blake back in 1982, who went bankrupt in 1985. So we'll hard stop the Avante story here. However, ownership would change four more times until its demise in 2007. So this 1985 Avante is a Stephen Blake creation and was based off the 1984 Chevy Monte Carlo chassis and is powered by the 305 V8 engine. It's front engine, rear wheel drive, and only 100 of these cars were made. And what's interesting to note here in this photograph uh, is that the car right next to it is a Avante convertible, which is also rare. So only 100 of these cars were made and uh, before Stephen Blake went out of business in 85. So let's get into the actual ad and do a quick walk around and see what we have here. Uh, the car looks really nice. The, uh, the car has beautiful lines to it. Uh, oh, well, first thing you notice is that the photographs are not current. So you know, we, we need to see some current photos and there's only like eight, nine photos here and they're, they're not the best photos, but you'll notice the front fascia of the car. I mean, if this reminds you of something, it definitely reminds me of how electric vehicles and the Tesla came out. You know, there's no front grill on the car. So all the cooling happens from underneath the car. This car has electric uh, fans for the radiators, but back in 1962, uh, they didn't have electric fans. So I'm sure the car is overheated a little bit. But the 62 model had beautiful chrome bumpers uh, wrapped all around the front and the rear and had inserts for the uh, fog lights and things like that. Uh, but this car is probably using the same molds that they used back then. Of course, the car was fiberglass, of course. And uh, so depending on how old these photos are, the car looks really nice. Uh, you know, the silhouette of the car, the side profile of the car looks nice. Now, fiberglass over time tends to check and, and, and you know, kind of like splinter and things like that. And I'm noticing a little bit of that in the rear rear panels here, but it also could be the light. So uh, that's something to consider when you're looking at this car in person. But it's a very handsome looking car, definitely European looking uh, with its short stubby rear, uh, kind of a muscular stance for its time. Uh, the 305 engine, it's front engine, rear drive. It probably has air conditioning. I don't see the hoses, but there's probably air conditioning here. Um, and also uh, has power disc brakes and things like that. So you have all the conveniences of the Chevy driveline. Um, uh, and, you know, so that, that's enjoyable. The interior on this car is, is what makes the $20,000 more palatable. Uh, it's really pretty. I mean, you can see these gauges have the original Avante script on it, which was a nice logo. And uh, the interior on this car is where all the money is, I, I think, besides the molding for the fiberglass. But look how beautiful that dashboard is. It has a Nardi steering wheel. The center console is all unique. It's all their own. It's not something borrowed from General Motors at the time. So there's some money here in the tooling to, to make this dashboard and things like that. And it's very tastefully done. Uh, and these seats are beautiful. We'll get into the seats real quick. These seats are, they have to be like Recaro type seats because I used these in Mercedes Benz's at the time in the 80s. And I remember these seats being like $600 each back then. So these seats are beautiful and has the knee support here and things like that. Uh, and has leather interior on the door panels and all. It has a little wing window, which is really cute. You know, it's fun to do. And uh, I like the I like the interior. The, the exterior of the car looks nice. Again, we don't know how old these photos are, but we're assuming we'll give the benefit of the doubt to the seller because the person has a good reputation. Uh, the photos should be uh, recent. But uh, that's it. There's not too many other photos. Again, there's a convertible here in the corner. Uh, so the person must know this brand very well. 
On the collectability side, I'm not really sure, you know, if this car has any future collectability because, again, the Avante was changed by so many ownership history. There's a lot of chronological uh, order on this Avante. There's a lot of places you can go to get information. I went to these web pages here. But the Avante, the original Avante, was totally different than what this car is. It definitely was watered down by this time. But, you know, it would cost you a lot of money to find the original Avante. That's probably over thirty, forty thousand dollars these days um, in nice condition. And this car actually probably rides better than the original one did. Uh, but I'm just guessing about that because I have no no drive time in any of these cars. But that's it. That wraps up our daily classics and drivers top pick for today. For more details on this car, uh, always go to our Facebook group page. You can find that link in our description here on YouTube. And that will take you right to our Facebook page. You can join the conversation. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you like uh, the content as well. We're trying to grow the page. Thank you for all your support. And we'll see you again real soon. Have a good day.